Hey, what's up YouTube? Uh, I haven't made a video with you guys in a while, but uh, today I uh, wanted to do a review on something that I've had a lot of time to think about and I, you know, I, I have a big respect for music and in my respect for music, I try to pay for a lot of underground and independent artists, but the only time I've ever done it was when it cost a dollar and I could find it at a record store. So I didn't really pay enough homage to the artists in any way, shape, or form. I kind of just paid it to the, you know, the store. And they weren't like, you know, like eight dollar record. They were like a dollar, you know, cassettes and all that. So it wasn't anything that really actually helped. So recently I, um, well I do this a lot. I Go on Bandcamp, I don't know if this is the best way to look up independent artists, but this is just what works best for me. I went on um, Bandcamp, and what I do is I set the filters to uh, cassette, um, newest arrivals, and today. And what that does is that allows me to be able to look at the newest artists. Now, they used to have a function where you can make it where you can see the newest newest ones and it would show exactly what was of that day but now it's like merged with the days um, before and after so you don't really get like just one day anyway so I was looking on there and I found one of my well not one of mine uh, I found an artist I liked because what I do is I sample all the artists and I see what I like of them and I thought you know what I'm just gonna pick a random one uh, buy their music and you know see what it's like as a cassette or in a package like this so uh, I would do it with some of the artists I appreciate more like Luxury Main or Zig Tebra uh, if you want to check them out uh, they're on Bandcamp I'll probably post a link of it on in the description or whatever but um, but I thought, you know, I should do it with someone I don't know. So, you know, I'm kind of just exploring the music, paying for it, and, you know, doing it out of wonder rather than just mere appreciation of the artist that I already knew and I already bought music of. So, um, this is a release by an artist from Lost Sound Tapes. I don't re really remember the artist's name. Actually, uh, Hoop. The artist's name is Hoop, and it's off of the uh, record label uh, Lost Sound Tapes, and I was the first to purchase it on their website, which I enjoy personally. It's way, be way better than being like, you know, number four or five on Bandcamp, um, whether you purchased it or not. So this was an edition, I think, of 100 or 250. And today I'm going to open it up because I've never really actually bought anything off Bandcamp. So it's going to be really cool to see, you know, what they do. Because I really want to see what they do inside of the uh, packages. So this is what it looks like. Uh, and I'm going to open up right now and see what it does. Kind of also in a food coma right now because I just got a... Um, went to a tour of a post-grad house that I'm going to do after my senior year this year, which is my final year. So this is also a graduation present for myself, kind of like a treat yourself thing. If you've ever seen Parks of Recreation, you probably know what I'm talking about. Treat yourself. Anyway, so seems to include two things. I got this cute little thing from Jigsaw Records. Hmm. Oh, seems to be um, a seller, you know, like a buying and selling thing that also has releases. Um, maybe my camera's inside out. Uh, if I have time, maybe I'll put um, the links that it has on there. But that's pretty cool. It says we buy and sell new and used records, CDs, tapes, and zines. <laughs> which is pretty cool. Um, I'll check them out later. And then, uh, here's the cassette. This is pretty cool. Um, I can see that it's mostly just like a plastic, 
you know, casing. And not like a really nice, um, you know, full on, you know, plastic casing like this, but like a kind of 39 cent one. And I know stuff because I um, made like 10 pack releases online. Well, not 10 pack releases online, but I, there was a guy at my school and I decided, you know, I'm, I know how to make um, a miniature record label, not a big one by um, taking old audiobooks, scratching them off, and uh, you know, using them for a distribution. So I wouldn't have to go online and purchase them and all that. And you know, I made a little $15, and it was good. But um, they're not the best quality, but uh, I sure do know, I feel like this wouldn't be as good of quality in you know tape bias than the other one but you know nevertheless it's great to purchase music in 2017 that's in physical format because you know this is this is just my own personal idea on this uh i enjoy you know having my music uh on you know singular stuff so then you know if my player and this one i um bought myself at when i was beginning this year because i wanted to get something actually really nice for playing my tapes and it's a um Sony Walkman WM-EX 621. Who are you talking to? Chris, I am making a video on YouTube. Um, sorry. That was, uh, my roommate. Uh, he's watching the NBA playoffs, so he's kind of a little just intrigued on that. He has no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> somewhat. He has somewhat of an idea, not really. Uh, anyway. So this is a WM-EX 621. I got imported, I think, from Germany. I forgot. Uh, but it works for me. You know, I accidentally, you know, it's not in the best condition, but it works for what I want it to do, which is just play tapes. And, you know, it's not for running or anything like that. I'll probably get a sports Walkman for that. But, you know, in, when I go to the gym and stuff, I don't, you know, like carrying around a big thing and I don't like using Bluetooth or having my phone. So I have a waterproof Walkman that also works for just going to the gym and outside of water too so I use that but I got this unit not bad it does what I want to do it probably oh <laughs> a bad moment right now but um I think it's not that bad of audio I'll try it tonight but I like how they did it they um put it in uh, oh this video doesn't isn't that good um, they put, seem to put it in a sort of like uh, fold up. It's very not well felt folded up. You know, they put the thing right here, folds down like that. All the tracks are right here, and it just looks really nice. I I I I, I feel <laughs> I hate to say nostalgic, but I feel really you know awesome owning an album because it feels like really like it's mine. And not only do I, oh yeah, I remember what I was saying before. Um, I buy uh, cassettes because if my player breaks like this one, I just need to buy a new player and then I just, you know, don't have to move my music from one thing to another. And yeah, there's streaming, but you know, that requires downloading an app and uh, let's just say I prefer it. Anyway. I'm going to listen to this later, and I don't know, it's going to be nice. I'm glad to actually purchase an album and not, and not be lazy and pay a dollar. And actually pay like eight dollars for, you know, a physical copy of your album. Like, yeah, I have a 16-bit rip on my, um, there he is. Uh, I have a 16-bit rip on my um, phone of this album, but I haven't listened to it yet because I wanted to actually buy get the physical release in the mail first <laughs> anyway I could go on forever but I just think it's really cool to get this in the mail and be able to listen to it um, anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you have any good ideas for things that you might want to do uh, that'd be cool definitely check out the artists I recommended and if I I like this yeah, I like it. So I'm going to post this in the description too when I have the chance. And also the slip that came with it. 
uh, hope you guys had a great uh, time, you know, viewing this video, and uh, definitely, you know, subscribe or whatever. I mean, I mean, I don't really care because I'm not that into this, but it's kind of fun to do this. So, um, sayonara.